Welcome back, insufferable gaming fans. Your old pal Rosser here. Last time, we tried the Seven Years Bad Luck Challenge, and it didn't go very well. Well, I'm gonna try it again. There's nothing for it. I have to get it done if I want to get everything done. Well, and already we've got a little bit of good luck. Ah, I should have put that farther up in case there was a secret room. Well, I can do it like this. I'll get a bomb without actually wasting one, and it might have hit the wall in the right spot. No real way of knowing. And the bad luck begins already. With a frankly crappy item. But better than no item, so I'll just hold on to it. Wow, Super Wrath. Have I fought Super Wrath before? I don't know. But he sends out troll bombs, so that's uh, gonna be kind of tricky to dodge those. Especially when I can't seem to dodge them. Or er, homing troll bombs, I should say. Wow. I need to get some of the rest of this junk blown up. I wonder. Well, that bought me some time. Yes, you stay stuck in there. Ugh. I might not make it. They seem to be having quite a few problems. Staying alive here. And one more of those will finish me off. <sighs> Alright game, that was a good one. You sure got me. Funny stuff. Very funny. We'll all have a good laugh. And we've got a bottle of pills, which will give me pills, which with my bad luck will all be bad without exception. So... Awesome. I'm not even gonna take that. Just not gonna do it. Not gonna do it. It was a bad proposition from the word go. See, that's what I was trying to do with the first one. Hell yeah. If only there were something to use those on, I'd be set. But so far I haven't really seen anything that would make all those hearts worth my effort, per se. Okay, let's do something about these big head spiders. Preferably not getting caught in a dead end with them. That would be a good strategy to go with. Hello, chest. Hello, coins. Glad to see you today, making an appearance. Okay, pin, not so bad. Except when I say it isn't, in which case, I wind up getting completely reamed. You know, basically any time I open my mouth about something is when it turns around and bites me in the ass. help if I could actually hit him. But I seem to be kind of struggling with that today. Okay, I've got a handle on this. However, I must say, this has been a pretty long pin fight, all things considered. I thought Pin used to have less health than this. He shot himself. This pleases me. And we've got the belt. Speed up. Okay, that'll come in handy. Oh, I know. I can go in this room right up here, since I've got hearts lying around. And get... Box of Spiders. Just what I needed. That's going to really turn the tides of battle for me. I can tell. K. 
coming up next, we have... Cellar 2, I'm guessing. Yep. Oh, now I get the blood bank. How very typical. And there's an arcade as well. But unless I just get a ton of hearts dropped, it's not really going to be practical for me to do anything with that. Plus, I'll need at least half a heart to make up for the one I just foolishly squandered. Alright. A little more. We can use a bomb to get that tinted rock. What's this? Child's heart. Has something to do with heart drops. And it might be worth it to use a bomb to get that extra money, but I only have the one. Which I am pretty sure I will need at a later time. Uh, okay. I was trying to figure out how I was going to get out of there without taking any hits. I'm just going to blow this up. Got one of them. Almost took a shot to the face. If I could just get this one more guy who's just a squishing and a flopping out of my way. Okay, we got the boss there. Gonna explore around. Hey, one of these guys. I'll drop some money on him. See what he gives me. The chariot, good, that's a good card. I'm happy for it to be on the team. Um, gonna pay out anytime soon? Yes! Steam sale! So, very much worth it. Since we actually have shops, and in fact may need to use them to bolster my items. Of course, I don't have the money for it right now, or the keys. Alright, now what are we looking at? Since I've got a heart and some money, I guess I'll go in here again. And hey, sweet, the pact. Damage up. Brian was right, it is worth it to go into those rooms. Because that is really going to speed things up. Now let me think here a bit. What do I want to do? I want to... Go into the arcade and see if... Nah, with bad... Well, I already wasted the penny now. With bad luck, I'm probably not going to get any key drops. And I certainly don't want the pill. Not that one, anyway. I'll try a little bit. Yeah, I think this is going to be a waste of my money overall. Just gonna save it. Chalk it up to experience. Eh... Don't know if I want to waste that bomb. I'll see what the boss drops first. It is the Headless Horseman. A nasty horseman. Who doesn't like me and my wily ways. And also slimes the floor all over the place. And comes out of nowhere to hit me. Jeez. Oh, wait, I have a chariot card. Yeah! That uh, sped things up quite a bit. Little Chad has appeared in the basement. And I also get an awesome item which gives me flying and some extra speed and a charge attack. So now we're kicking some ass. Kicking ass indeed. Now I can pick up the hearts that were dropped back there. And if I ever find some keys, I can have shop luck. And is that a deal with the devil room to boot? Was that even there before? I don't know, but um, 
I need the hearts more than I need that stuff. So onwards we go. Now, where to next? Hey, an item room that I can't access. I'm gonna save my charge for a particularly desperate situation. Which I'm sure will... alright. Which I'm sure will come soon enough. Hey, the relic! That drops spirit hearts every few rooms. For free. Take that! Oh, I missed them all. I just wanted to use it. And then I got hit, anyway. Not a good use of my resources. Oh, these guys are soaking up a lot of damage. Do these guys always take this many hits? Probably. It would help if I was actually hitting them. Keys. Yes, thank you. What do we have in here? Uh, I'm gonna save my key for all that. But, yeah, I think I'm going to explore more because I'd like for that relic to drop some spirit hearts. Spirit hearts. Very much needed. What else we got? Some butt licks, some eternal flies, and some nice safe pits to hover over. Hey, wow, these guys again. Let's see if I can manage to pump a little more damage into them a little more rapidly. There, see? Got one already. Got two already. Three. That went well. Now, how do I want to do this? First, the shop. I don't need the ladder since I actually have the pony. But if I should happen to lose the pony, I'm going to want it. So I'll pick it up just in case that happens. I will also get this key. And then I will be able to... Go here, first of all. Check it out. Nice. And fly back out. For very little loss. What else we got? Ooh. That was unfortunate. It had good aim. And that was the relic paying off with the spirit heart. This, don't want to do it. Just because. And now I can go back here, and I guess I will open up that other chest. Because now I do have some extra keys. Lots of money and some bombs. Very good. That works. That works for me. Zoom! Well, I hit one of them at least that time. Charge up that pony. What else we got? Ooh, these guys. They're problematic. In their tendency to just saturate the screen with enemies. And I can't always figure out which way to dodge. There we go. A little more. And I don't even remember what the next wave of enemies is. But we'll find out now. Turrets. That's okay. I can deal with turrets. In theory, in practice, not so much.
One more. Come on. There we go. Ooh, and an eternal heart. I will come back and pick that up as soon as I'm done with the boss. The boss being, of course, the Fallen. But at least you should drop a really good item. We all know how much I suck at dodging this thing. I have proven many times that I have consistent problems with him. Especially once he's split into two. As he does. And now I get shot. The quad shot. Bullets flying freaking everywhere. Ah! Yeah. I just didn't know how to get myself out of that situation. And I still don't. It would be great if one of them would die. Either one, really. How about you? Will you oblige me? Guess not. Oh, what? There we go. Okay. And the mark for more damage up. We're getting plenty of good damage up. And I guess I can go try the blood bank with my one heart that dropped there. Isaac, of course, looking pretty fearsome. Oh, wait, that's not a blood bank, that's just a shop. My bad. Sometimes I lose track of what I'm doing. I know I didn't forget the Eternal Heart. Eternal Heart. Gotten. And with that, we begin to sink to lower depths. Still lower depths. Catacombs Dose. Hey, Greedheads. Don't like dealing with these. They decided to not shoot for a while, so that helped. Helped quite a bit. All right. Fat flies. Fat spiders. Bullets everywhere. Bad things all around. Okay. Don't get cocky. Hey! Nice. I'll take it. No complaints there. Might be some complaints when the room starts filling up with spiders, though. A room like that has the potential to do it mightily quickly. And two spirit hearts dropped there for my troubles. Hooray. This run not being as mean as they could be, it could be, they could be, it could be, it could be a charge attack. I really wish that would hit more than one thing once in a while. The enemies just don't want to line up for me, it seems. You soak up those bullets, buddies. Whoa. That could have been a disaster. Eh... Uh, I'll go ahead and get this. Well worth it. And this guy again. Ooh, a library is down there. Could it be a book of revelations? It is! And since I have a ladder, I don't feel too bad about leaving the pony behind. This works for me. I can, I can live with this. And now I'll just uh, feed him some monies. Hope he drops something good for me. 
Hope he drops something a little better for me. Hope he drops anything at all. Uh, is this what we're doing? Is this how you want to play it, buddy? There we go. Ooh, it's the candle. Sweet. This is what I unlocked from Dark as the Night, and this is a seriously overpowered item. Ooh. I might want to keep this even in s over the Book of Revelations. But I'm gonna try to get the Book of Revelations charged up one more time, and then I'll take the candle with me when I leave the level. Because the candle... You can use it multiple times per room. It blocks enemy projectiles. And it just basically does a ton of damage. And I got my money back. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. I need to get rid of some of these. Ah, I didn't see the backswing. You know, if I just brought the candle with me, these guys would all be dead by now. It was a judgment call, but I'll go back for the candle in a minute. I just want to get as much use out of the book as I can. And I'll do this room so it can be charging. I think I have the firepower to handle this now. Yes, indeed. I actually have enough firepower that I can take these guys out without having to run around for an eternity. It is kind of getting hard to line up my shots in some of these cases, though. And next we have... the heads. The horrible, hideous heads. We know how I feel about those. And this one's gonna bust, and I got my one bar of charging for my B-Rev. Uh, I thought for sure I was gonna get hit there. Nice. Two more rooms, and I'll be charged. Completely charged. And it looks like we're going to get them. Unless... I make a miscalculation. <clears throat> like, maybe the next room doesn't have enemies, or something like that. Which has been known to happen. But it does have enemies. Very dangerous enemies. Some would say overly dangerous enemies. And I can't believe I did not take a hit there. And I can go to the shop. But first, I'm going to use this one last Book of Revelations charge, then I'm going to go back for my candle. Because I like my candle. I have not used it before, but I have seen what it is capable of. And it is capable of great things, I assure you. Let's find out. Yeah, fry. Fry like crazy everything. Uh, there's a lot of shit flying around the room right now, so um, I should probably be concentrating a little more. Candle doing a great job of crowd control, though. And a quarter. Which I unlocked previously, but had not picked up yet. So, when we do get to another shop, I can just pretty much buy it out. Who do we have? Pestilence. We'll get a cube of meat for some defensive capabilities. Okay. Yep, you can burn. Continue to burn. 
I will try not to get caught in these assorted gnarly crossfires. I'll have to get used to the range on the candle. Because I tend to be coming up just a hair short. And an angel room. My oh my. Me oh me, my oh my. Dead dove flying. So I really didn't need the pony. And spectral shots. So I can fire through walls. This is awesome. Because the candle doesn't go through walls. I don't think. I don't know. I guess I can test this easily enough. It does not. Candle is a great zombie killer. And the Hierophant. Oops. It's a spirit heart of Palooza. Okay, now my next question becomes, how is this going to turn around and cause my untimely death? What's going to happen to make this happy occasion into a sad one? Hopefully nothing. But you can't put anything past this game. For starters, we've got leapers, which are, in fact, quite dangerous, because they can land anywhere at any time, showering me with misery and woe. <laughs> woe! I'm just blowing them up, because really, at this point, why not? Uh, I don't really need to go into the library, but I can use the books in there. Well. Not really what I, I didn't really get anything that would just drop free items for me, but it was worth exploring. For the cost of one key, I'm not too upset. One key was not too much to ask for that. Wow, look at all those. Just uh, bouncing around in terrible locations. Yeah, you just go ahead and die any minute now there, buddy. Um, there is the boss room, but I'll go ahead and explore the rest of the level first. Just because. Heh. <laughs> yeah, let's line these guys up. For candle shots. Candle-based attacks. Very, very useful to me. Yes! Candle Ahoy! And there's even an item room here. And we get Bobby Bomb. My bombs will be homing now. My bombs are my homies. Homies. That would have come in an awful lot of handy during that Super Wrath fight, but it could be a long time before we even see Super Wrath again, so... I'll just count my blessings while I still have some. Whoa. I don't know what that fly is going to do, because I can't tell whether it's red or black. It was black. Alright. What's our card? The Fool. <clears throat> Warps us back to the beginning of the level. I th think? Well, I'll use it so I won't have to walk so far. Let's just take out these gut balls. Easily done. Whoa. Easy. And up here we have... A shop. Ah, yes. I'd forgotten that I was looking for that. The 
these things are all bouncing very erratically. That makes it a little better. Can uh, I just hurry up and beat that already? Thank you. Okay, compass is good. I'll take it. Spirit heart, key. Excellent. That seems to be all I need from in there. And I will try out the curse room because I can easily get my heart refilled. And it was spiders. But you know, it didn't have to be spiders. Oh right, that took a spirit heart, never mind. Still though, I think it was worth checking. Yes, the fool transported me back to the beginning, which is the room I was currently in. Good times. Who's our boss? Who's our boss? It's the Depths 1, so we have got Loki. Easy boss. And the candle's gonna make it easier. Assuming I don't screw something up. Badly. Which could also still happen. Especially since I tend to keep missing a bunch. I could just hide behind those rocks. In all honesty. I'm doing some pretty good damage. Not too worried about this from here on. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Loki's horns has appeared in the basement. Not sure why they're just now appearing. Maybe I needed to beat them a certain number of times. I don't know. But now, it's time to fight Mom, and I don't know if this challenge goes to Mom, or if it goes all the way to Mom's heart. But, we're going to find out very soon. First, to the shop, I believe, would be the way to go. I'm just gonna go ahead and candle these spiders, burn them to the ground. And probably nearly everything else I come across as well. Really? Two hits in there? That was very unfortunate. Sometimes you just gotta use your bullets. That's what they're there for. Especially when I have this much power-up going on. You'd think that would be my go-to attack. Candle, I love you. You were just the best. And the pill, as I said before, not gonna use them during this bad luck run. Greed! I have a score to settle with you. And that score is negative three pennies. And positive a whole bunch of pennies. Unfortunately, that was the last opportunity for a shop, but we still could find one of those little dudes that give us stuff for money. Hi, Troll Bomb. How you doing? And zoom! Whoa. That was a dangerous situation. I thought for sure I was going to get hit by that one. I still could. Anytime. There we go. And a pill, do not want. Fistulae. Fistulae. Fistulas. Secret room. Huzzah. Oh, whoa. I had a bunch of different ways I could move, and every single one of them was a poor idea. Oh, might as well go here first. Some bombs. Not helping me. Probably much the same in here. Nope, attack flies. That will be marginally helpful. Insert formatting joke here. Hey, it's Chubb. 
candle gonna make quick work of that, assuming I can hit it. Or, you know, maybe not. That was a good hit. Just got it right in the sweet spot. What else? Hello, butt lickers. Spread out in such a manner as to ambush me coming in the door. Very clever, game. But you didn't count on the power of the candle. Or, technically it did account on the power of the candle, but you know what I mean. And if you don't know what I mean, pretend you know what I mean. That's the classy thing to do. Let's see, we've got a fork does something, since uh, hearts really... well, I don't know if the hearts are helping me or not, or not. I do seem to have been getting more spirit hearts lately, so maybe I'll just hang on to this since it's been working. I can head down here to this arcade. I really didn't think that would be able to hit me, but I was oh so very wrong. Oh, goody, this room again. I didn't get enough of it the first time, we had to come back for it. Those red ones tend to be the one that hit me the most often because their shotgun effect is very unpredictable. Okay, what do we have? We could get some spirit hearts, we could get some other items. What kind of other items? Maybe some hearts. One of them a spirit one. This is good. This makes us happy. The uh, troll bomb didn't make me very happy. And I definitely don't want... Well, I guess I don't want to pick up the tick. It'll be very important not to pick up the tick later after we unlock the next couple of levels in the uh, main game. How many hearts did I leave laying around in other places anyway? I know there's at least one, so I can play this one more time. Not sure it really did any good. I don't really think there's much use in continuing with this, though. I'm basically just killing time. Okay, I'll play the Blood Bank one more time, because that's a full heart. Drop a Blood Bag. No luck. Okay. It's alright. I could blow all that stuff up. I've been getting Angel Rooms, though, so I don't want to blow the person up. And that dropped me a Eternal Heart. Awesome. Now if I can just get around this tick without picking it up... Oh, I picked up the Eternal Heart. Well, anyway, I've got enough um, Spirit Hearts as a buffer that I probably won't lose it. At least I'm hoping. This is a very dangerous room. Let's go! Giggity go! Yikes! Freaking vicious. Okay. Candle coming through. Really need to try not to forget that I have that candle. It really is a lifesaver in this situation. Who's our boss? Oh yeah, Mom. So that Eternal Heart might not even be a factor. I'm just going to candle the crap out of these sides because... It can hurt mom no matter what, just doing constant damage, as you can see there. And this fight should be over very shortly. Lucky Toe has appeared in the basement. Isaac was cornered. His mother yeah, yeah, we've seen this. And that did the trick there. So, we have managed to finish off another challenge. 
And until next time, this is your old pal Rosser. Take a drink.